It's a festival of footballs here at the SBC. To kick it off is Mr. Luis Diaz, Liverpool's finest Copper America card. Finesse, press proven, rapid, 99 pace, 99 dribbling. Yeah. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team Coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. Like this man, if, oh, he's 4 or 5. If he was 5-5, five, five, would be a dream, man. Of course, these are upgradable cards that I believe it should be here. So, potential to go up to like a 98 rated, I believe. An extra play star plus gets added if they win three games. Could go to 5-5. Five, five. So, Colombia are a very, very uh, solid side in the Copa America. So, hopefully, at least a couple of upgrades will be uh, given to this lad. Uh, but even if it doesn't get the upgrades... The dribbling's phenomenal. The shooting's good. The pace is there. The passing. He has it all. Like such a well-rounded card. Can only play as a left wing or left mid. But as an out-and-out -out striker, you could have potential here. And it's throwing it back to, is it a footies card he got last year? Who remembers that? I swear it was a footies. I swear it was like 95 rated as well. I played him as a striker in the view and he was unbelievable. No technical's a bit of an issue. I doubt it's really going to affect him with 99 dribbling, with rapid plus, press proven. Like, you're going to be good. He's got quick step base, trick stuff, flair. Incisive's a nice addition. Uh, I would have liked pinged, but chip shot finesse, power header. Crazy nice card. Dynamic image, I like it. The card design, I like it. I'm going to play him as a left center forward in a 4 3 2 1. That's my plan. Cutting in, using the, the finesse shot to the right foot. Just mixing up, having fun. Now, price tag, he's not cheap. Um, let me load a footbin and have a little look to see what we're saying. Whilst I'm doing it, smash a like on the video. Show me some love, lads. 837k. Ooh, a little bit uh, a little bit premium. But the card looks crazy nice. Kemp's that I'm going to give is a sniper. I believe we've also got a flashback Muller. Definitely going to review him later. So stay tuned for that one. Content's crazy today. Sniker, it's not sniker. <laughs> sniper Kem and let's dominate. All right, in we go then. Champs qualifiers is the destination. Let's have some fun and let's see if Luis Diaz is the real deal. I'm also evolving Elise out of the brand new Evo. So that review will be tonight as well. Uh, so a lot of content to come, guys. So stay tuned. Diaz first touch then. Let's go. Light it up with a quick step play style plus. 99 speed, 99 dribbling. Is he the first card in the game to have that? A little bit of controlled sprint. Roulette there. Go on. Jam your way through. No technical. Makes me think the left stick's going to be the way to go. That's it. Maybe. Should have been more clinical there. Decent stop from the keeper though. On the edge. Diaz. Move man. And finish. Already on the score sheet. We're going to dominate. Oh, we'll take that. You fluffed your lines a little bit there. Play him. One touch, step overs, let's go. Press prove and play style plus, I'm a big fan of. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know I sing his praises. Finesse shot season, I have fluffed that a treat. We played too much UFL, but time finishing is all over the place. Well, Ian Rudiger. Fizzle that. Valverde. Heel to heel, ball roll. Bit of controlled sprint action, but utilize the speed and the finish. Okay. Five style weak foot. Back of the net dispatches it. I feel like the controlled sprint is definitely good enough. You've got 99 dribbling, so you can utilize it. But with a card like this, I just think that pure speed and power is the way to go. Similar to like Rafa Liao in a way. Uh, I don't know if you guys have tried him out. But utilizing the speed, step overs, and just pure annihilation when it comes to pace. And a green tub finish. We've got a hat trick already. Give me that rage quit. Luis Diaz looking lively. Looking what, like he's worth every penny of that almost 900k price tag. All right, game number two. Decent little debut run out. Cheeky hat trick for the man. Uh, speed was fantastic. Jib is brilliant. And that finishing is ruthless. So hopefully more like that in this one. Another hatty. Sounds pretty good to me. Teo Valverde. Let's go. There's space. Bash is overcommitted. Luis Diaz can run into it. That's too easy. That's too easy. That's too easy. Luis Diaz flying. Just tapping the controlled sprint. Not really overcommitting with it. Utilizing just the speed, the left stick, and those finesse shots. Gonna be deadly. Valverde's on that. Emery. Diaz. Oh, gets the absolutely pile drive there. But it falls nicely. Mbappe. 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 Gotta find the back of the net. Great read. Look at the movement from Diaz, by the way. Fantastic. The strike, less so, but I'll take the luck. 
<laughs> the movement was brilliant. The way he dropped the shoulder into that little bit of space when Mbappe dropped a bit deeper. But the shot for me, did Green time it with the left foot? Wanted to go across the keeper. It was more central than I'd hoped for, but we'll take the cheese on toast finish. Huge from Emery. Let's go. Step over season. The speed is mad. Tried to check it back a little bit too quickly, though. And Basher cleans up. William Ronald. One touch. Utilize the left stick. We're not going to get bullied. He's got some strength, that is for sure. And that left stick control, really, really nice. Oh, that's a goal, isn't it? Sour. That extra pass killed me. I mean, touch is brilliant. Press proven playstyle plus. Seriously, seriously good. Especially for like a card with crazy, crazy speed and dribbling already. Adds a different element of control when it comes to the left stick and hold up play. He almost sat off me a little bit too much there, and we almost punished him. Smashing the woodwork, though. I don't think I quite green-timed it. That's probably the difference of finding the back of the net there. But just having wingers with finesse shot playstyle plus on either side, like Liao and also Luis Diaz, it's a crazy, crazy combo. Little link-up plays good. Hold-up plays there. And Mbappe battling. Not quite. Crazy. Controlled sprint there. Oh, mate. The roulette into the green sound finesse shot is a combo that Luis Diaz can spam on repeat, on repeat. And just not getting bullied. He's so, so good at maintaining the ball. Oh, hello. Little dink. That's it. I thought I had to go for the header. Probably could have tried to take it down, but I do love those kind of little like looping heading finishes. Diaz just about pokes that one wide, though. And there we go. Another rage quit from Luis Diaz Masterclass. And that puts me to 3-0 and in foot champs qualies. Now, Luis Diaz, is he worth? It's a pretty hefty price tag, but it's kind of what you'd expect, right? 837k is the cost for this card. I think he's worth every penny. Comparisons I'd make is like a Rafa Liao. I'm intrigued to see how much he goes for, though. Because obviously, ultimate team of the seasons have been nuked in price. He's, he's actually more. 945. That's like the ultimate comparison here. I think if you get on with a player like Liao... Like, they're, they're so similar. They've both got a little bit of height. Liao's got a tiny bit more. 4-5. The finesse shot. The press proven and rapid combo with 99 dribbling. Crazy. He absolutely flies. Doesn't get bullied with the boost to the, uh, the strength and aggression here with the sniper chem style as well. Finishing, I think it's really, really good. Just 93 alone. You might notice a few chances go astray like I did with that left-footed green time that went straight, uh, straight down the keeper. But utilize the speed and the dribbling. You'll have a field day. And let's not forget the live cards. This card's upgradable, which is crazy. Little fine tuner to the shoot in the pass. And as long as he hits the extra playstyle plus, qualify for the quarterfinal, go to a 97 rated with four playstyle pluses, then we are cooking well and truly. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Really good SBC to kick things off for the festival football. Uh, come back, of course, and have the Elise review later tonight. We'll check out, I think it's a showdown, not a flashback for Muller and somebody else. I'll have a little look, see what I can do. But in case you didn't come back for a video later, enjoy the rest of your night.